Now, I was flabbergasted with the results. If all Americans didn't eat meat for just one day a week, this would save 19 million plane tickets from New York to LA or from LA to New York. 90 million tickets each year just by eating no meat for just one day a week. You see, you see, a small step for a man is a giant leap for humanity and all living creatures. And you don't have to wait. You can start today with your own tasty and simple solution to the climate problem. The question we have to ask ourselves is simply, how many days a week shall I go without meat to reduce global warming? I think it would help, if, especially if they did one day a week. I think that makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference not only for the environment, but for the animals themselves and then for our bodies. Not only think it would help what you're talking about, but I think it would help the karma also. <laughs> Greenhouse gas is a really important thing. Global warming is really important. But does anybody ever talk about the amount of water it takes? There's so much waste. And I think if more people were aware of that, they would make they would make the choice because it's a very easy thing to do. It's a very easy choice to make to just skip meat for a day, one day a week, you know, and then one day becomes two days, and then two days becomes three days, and gradually it, it can make a significant, significant impact. Absolutely, being a vegetarian uses one tenth the resources than eating meat does. So obviously it would help, you know, perpetuate human life on Earth that everyone did. Hopefully it all turns around. I think it's the missing, it definitely was the missing part of the inconvenient truth. Animals are suffering, people are suffering. I mean, it, it, we need to do something quickly. You know, you can't be a meat eater and call yourself an environmentalist. You can get a lot of protein from peanuts. When I was raised in Canada, meat and potatoes. I never was a big meat eater my whole life, but you're raised that way and it's really hard to, to switch gears. So, um... I think when people just do, do the best they can. You should all eat less animals, or maybe just none. I think that would make a tremendous difference. You don't have to go 100% vegetarian, but we don't have to just have this mass gorging of meat that happens, especially in the United States of America. Yes, I, I don't expect everyone on the planet to give up all meat. I think that's unrealistic, uh, but I do think we could get people to understand that meat shouldn't be something they have for their own health. <laughs> on as regular a basis as, as they do have it. People don't think twice when they eat meat. People don't think twice the way their meat is manufactured. People don't think twice about those factory farming practices because it's not as close to them. But yet, if you're driving in a car, an SUV that may be much bigger and is not a hybrid, possibly like your car, is something that you can pick on. It's an easy thing to pick on, but we need to start picking on ourselves, and we need to start picking carefully what we eat, how we eat, when we eat it, where we get it from. We need to do the research and do the work to find those things out and make ourselves smarter. So if we're going to talk about SUVs and car emissions, we can also be smart enough to find out where most of those emissions are actually coming from. Right. Actually, the solution to our climate problem is child's play. The production of one kilogram of beef is just as bad for the environment as driving around in the car for three hours while you left all your lights on at home. If all people in the world started eating as much meat as we do, then we'd need nearly three planets to be able to feed them all. And that's not possible. If we all didn't eat meat for three days a week, this would lead to the same carbon savings of halving the electricity use in all households in the United States. A vegetarian in a hammer produces fewer carbon emissions than a meat eater in a Toyota Prius. But a vegetarian on a bike is much better. <laughs> There are hundreds of millions of vegetarians today and many more people who have already started eating less meat. Personally, I like to call them meat leavers. No, you didn't hear me wrong. I didn't say meat cleavers, but meat leavers. And if you've heard all this and are still not convinced, if climate change doesn't really matter to you, then why not just reduce your meat consumption for the sake of of the animals. 
because they cannot stand up for themselves and are the direct victims of our excesses. Thank you. Fat and docile, big and dumb, they look so stupid, they aren't much fun. Cows aren't fun, they eat to grow, grow to die, die to be et at the hamburger fry. Cows well done, nobody thunk it, nobody knew, no one imagined the great cow guru. Cows are one. He hid in the forest, read books with great zeal. He loved Che Guevara, a revolutionary veal. Cows say tongue. He spoke about justice, but nobody stirred. He felt like an outcast, alone in the herd. Cow doll drums. He moved, we must fight, escape or we'll die. Cows gathered around, cause the stakes were so high. Bad cow pun. But then he was captured, stuffed into a crate, loaded onto a truck where he rode to his fate. Cows are bummed. He was a scrawny calf who looked rather woozy. No one suspected he was packing an Uzi. Cows with guns. They came with a needle to stick in his thigh. He kicked for the groin. He pissed in their eye. Cow well hung. Knocked over a tractor and ran for the door. Six gallons of gas flowed out on the floor. Run, cows, run. He picked up a bullhorn and jumped up on the hay. We are free roving bovines. We run free today. We will fight for bovine freedom and hold our large heads high. We will run free with the buffalo or die. Cows with guns. Crashed the gate in a great stampede, tipped over milk truck, torched all the feed. Cows have fun. Sixty police cars were piled in a heap, covered in cow pies, covered up deep. Much cow dung. Black smoke rising, darken in the day, twelve burning McDonald's. Have it your way. We will fight for bovine freedom and hold our large heads high. We will run free with the buffalo or die. Cows with guns. The president said, enough is enough. These uppity cattle, it's time to get tough. Cow dung flung. The newspapers gloated, folks sighed with relief. Tomorrow at noon, they would all be ground beef. Cows on buns. The cows were surrounded, they waited and prayed. They mooed their last moos, they chewed their last hay. Cows outgunned. The order was given to turn cows to whoppers, enforced by the might of 10,000 coppers. But on the horizon, surrounding the shoppers, came the deafening roar of chickens in choppers. We will fight for bovine freedom and hold our large heads high. We will run free. Cows with
begun 